50 inches, 50 inches wide. So what I'm doing here is uh, this greenhouse is going to be inside the diameter, seven feet wide and 101 inches long. If you use three cattle panels, you'll make that uh, probably 150, 151 and a half or 152. You'll probably need to measure that. You can go five cattle, it doesn't matter. You can go as many, as long as you want to. The width stays seven feet simply because that gives you six feet, two inches, six feet, two inches of headroom. Uh, raise it up, we'll put fencing staples in here and hold it up and uh, it is ready to go. You can come in here where the two panels meet and you can weld that. You can tack weld that right there. Uh, you know, we want to make it secure, you can weld it. But uh, 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 wire is just as good. Get you some baling wire, uh, galvanized wire of some kind. And uh, just wrap it around here. Okay, these are inch and a half fencing staples. Get my hammer. Uh, I'm gonna put one on the cross piece here so it won't go, it won't move up and down. And then I'll also put one on the vertical piece so it won't move sideways, okay? someone is on the other side with their knee to it or if you can put something there to brace it it will nail a lot easier and uh, at this time I have about an hour and a half invested in it and that's it so, uh, some of that was going in and grabbing the camera and a tripod and whatever so you know maybe, maybe an hour all together laying this out and screwing it together and I didn't show you but uh, what I did is just on the ends, I just put three screws, some three inch screws on each end, holding it together. Okay, here we are the next day. I've got uh, the uprights up, the door frame or window frame, either way, whichever end, it doesn't really matter. Let me just show you the, uh, the way this thing goes together. Fencing staples here. And again, like I said in the other video, to me the reason for the cattle panel, first of all, is just easy. It's just a almost a instant structure. But also, as the wind, if you've got plastic, if you're using for a greenhouse, as the wind blows here, it doesn't just blow that plastic. It it hits the plastic hits right there. It just gives it so much more stability than if you just had some ribs like a PVC pipe or something like that. And it just keeps your uh, plastic together. So. I'll let uh, me get the other end done and then I'll uh, show you that. So that's it uh, for right now. I will frame up, uh, or excuse me, make a door and a window for it, put that in there with hinges and such, and show you the finished product without the skin on it, without the uh, plastic on it. The uh, window, just got a string on it right now. But obviously it can be uh, automatic like my other one. And um, the brackets, I went ahead and put these brackets on here. It's about $15 worth of brackets. I didn't use them on my other one. It has not failed. It has not faltered. I don't think you need them. But if you want them, I'm just giving you an option here. All these brackets here, and I put some in the corners and up here. Those brackets were about 15 bucks. I had the hinges, but a set of hinges is about $3, maybe 4 You want some pretty heavy ones, maybe. Those are just regular door hinges I took off the door. But you want some pretty good hinges on the uh, on this door, because it, it weighs a little bit more. Obviously more than just this little window weighs. All right, I've got the, this window opening at the bottom, opening at the top, hinged at the bottom. Uh, unlike my other one, I did it just the opposite, simply because uh, as you open it up, the hot air is going to come and uh, exit, uh, exit there. So that's anyway. Very, you know, I told you how sturdy it's going to be. You don't hear it rattling at all. Uh, 
I don't know how heavy it is. I can pick up that end of it. And, and by the way, uh, you know, I told you I put the screws down here in the corners, but I also came back in and put some brackets. Unnecessary, didn't do it on the other ones. Don't think you need it. If you really want to get uh, funky with it, just put you, instead of uh, screws, just put you some uh, lag bolts in there, a couple of lag bolts. But I, you know, it's just, it's not going anywhere. This is, this is sturdy as it can be. So that's it so far. Um, I'll skin it out and um, probably put it up on the road, try to sell it. I may just load it up with plants. If I can't sell it, I'll put some plants in it. Now, is it big enough for you? Last year in my other greenhouse, which is a little bit bigger than this, was this one's, let's call it seven by eight. It's really seven by eight, four, I think. But this one's seven by eight. The other one is seven by ten and a half. I had hundreds and hundreds of plants in there. If I can put hundreds and hundreds in that, um, I don't see any reason why you couldn't put hundreds and hundreds in this. Now one of the reasons I did put the, uh, and would recommend uh, these corner braces on it right here is you're going to want to probably down here and right here put a couple of two befores spanning the length of it for shelves. In other words you'll have uh, a shelf all the way across here. Two two befores wide. Two two befores here two two befores up here all the way across to that and that just gives this if you load it up with plants a lot and you got some heavy plants in or, or some plants in there once you water them and they get pretty heavy then this brace will uh, uh, will be I don't know if it's necessary but it'd certainly be uh, be nice to have you could always put a, a two before uh, between there and there and that will give it uh, plenty of plenty of power so that's uh, that's it so far that's my uh, that's Texas Prepper's Greenhouse, and it has one other thing, and I'm about to put the plastic on. I've got the plastic laid out here. Is on the edges of the cattle panel to keep the plastic from getting torn by these ends. And you can see the ends stick out of the cattle panel just a little bit. I use um, this uh, pipe. foam pipe covers. This half inch uh, insulation. Okay, I've got the plastic draped over it. I will tuck in the ends. Uh, show you that a little bit as I'm doing it, but you need to make sure you align this perpendicular. And basically what I did was just this riding here. I just kind of made sure it kind of split that, that uh, stay on that cattle panel and this crease, this one was folded, this plastic was folded, that crease is about an inch away from the cattle panel all the way around. So I know it's pretty dang square and before I did this I measured the uh, uh, I measured the uh, the whole thing from, from corner to corner and uh, it is square. So uh, let me start tucking the ends. That's the, it's not the hard part, it's just a pain in the Okay, there it is all skinned out. Uh, I found that if you just kind of grab, depends on how pretty you want to make it, grab some and pull it and then uh, give it a staple. Grab another one, pull it, give it a staple. Uh, same way here, try to make them as uniform as possible. Uh, put one maybe in the middle here and then I guess in, in when they when you're making dresses and stuff they call these darts I believe so uh, you're just putting some darts in it uh, the rest of it because really it's not going to catch much wind the wind kind of rolls over it the wind hits here it's not going any further than that and as far as sturdy folks that thing's sturdy so I'll trim this off and then I'll put some fern strips on it either today.